Welcome back my students. How are you? Inshallah, we are going to complete unit 6 from lesson 7 to 9 today. Okay? So, our learning outcomes today, we are going to read and understand instructions. Then we are going to write instructions. Then we are going to read and understand factual text. At the end, we are going to write words and phrases, okay? Here, there is a video. I'm going to send it for you as a warm-up, okay? I will not play it now. Now, look here. I want you to open your book, page number, okay? Let me check here. Page number, on your skills book, page number 42. Here we are going to explore the language here. So read the signs. Don't cycle in the park. Turn off the water. Put rubbish in the bin. Don't use plastic bags. Look at these instructions here. What do you notice here? What do we use here when we write instruction? What words do we often use to start the rules? or to start the instructions, when you give instruction to somebody or give him rules. What do we start? What, are, what do we start here, this sentence? By which word? Yes, don't, excellent. And, look here, turn off. So this is a but. Hmm? So this is a verb, well done. So either we start it by this word, don't, or by a verb like turn off or but, okay? Now, think about your school environment. I want you to think of your school. Write some rules to keep it clean and safe. How can we keep our classroom safe and clean, okay? What can we write for? Those people who may destroy our classroom or destroy our school. Can you give them rules or give them instruction? Yes, I will give you one and you are going to write the other things. Okay, my students, think of the furniture, the chairs, the table, the wall, what else, everything there in the school. How can we make it safe and how can we protect it? For example, you may say, don't write on the desks, okay? So this is a sign for them, okay? Don't write on the desks. What else? You can say, hmm? don't write on the walls. Well done. Excellent. Don't destroy the chairs. Excellent. What else? What can you write here for them to make your school safe and clean? Hmm, my student, think and write. Write it down and please send it to me. I want to see your answers. Okay, my students? Good. Now, look at this. Page, on your class book, page number 58. Look at this place. Wow. It is horrible. Look, read, and match. Put up some signs and make this a good place for a picnic. Can you give them signs for these children to make this place clean? Yes, what can we say to them? Look at this girl. What can we say to her? Don't pick up the flowers. Well done. Don't write in the walls. Excellent. Don't climb the trees. Excellent. Hmm. Yes, what else? What can we say to them? Come, my students. Think. Don't throw the rubbish in the, yes, in the water. Well done. 
So what is wrong in this picture? What is wrong? Yes, my students? Hmm? Rubbish everywhere. Look at the rubbish. It is everywhere. And what else? We have dirty water. Huh, what else? We have no flowers. Because this girl is picking up the flowers. Is this good things? No. So now, let's, ma let's match between the picture and the signs. Okay, let's read it first. Don't climb the trees. Which picture is goes with this sign? Yes? Gee, well done. Okay. Don't pick the flowers. Don't pick the flowers. Where is the picture for this one? This sign is for whom? For this girl. Yes, see. Well done. Look after the insects and birds. Look at. Look after the insects and birds. Look here. Here we have birds and look at this girl. She is throwing them with the stone. So we have to say to her, look after the insects and birds. So this is for E. Well done. Don't write on the wall. This is for... Oh, sorry, here. Don't drive on the grass. Don't drive on the grass. So this is... B, well done for this boy. And here, don't write on the wall. This is for A, well done. Put letter in the bin. So this is for whom? For F. Oh, sorry, I missed this one. Don't throw, the, uh, don't throw rubbish in the water. Which one? It is D, yes. And the last one, put litter in the bin, it is, yes, F. Excellent. Excellent, my students. Okay. Look here. Here we have, what are these? Tall, short, fast, slow. Huh, my students? Adverbs? No. Adjectives, excellent. So here we have adjectives. We have tall, short, fast, slow, and here we have the opposites. The opposite of tall is short. The opposite of fast is slow. And here we have right, wrong, dirty, clean, sad, happy, left, right, left, right, hot, Cold. Can you give me other adjectives of the opposites? Huh? Big, small. Well done. Healthy, unhealthy. Excellent. Good, bad. Well done, my students. Okay. Now, let's see here. Here you are going to write the adjectives. Okay? The opposite. This is on your book, page number 59 on your class book. Here, look at this. Here we have dirty and what else? What is the opposite? Clean, well done. Huh? Look at this boy. He is very sad, well done. And this one, the opposite of sad, happy, well done. Hmm, this one. What we have here? Okay, so here we have alive. Look at this tree. It is a live tree. What is the opposite? Dead. Well done. Dead. Okay, here we have horrible. Hmm, horrible. This one? Hmm, what is the opposite? Nice. Excellent. Horrible. Hmm, nice. Yes, here we have dark. Huh? And here we have light. Well done. Here we have, look at this elephant and look at this mouse. What are the adjectives here? Yes, big, 
Small. Well done, my students. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to send it for you, this activity. And here also, this is a video about animals in danger. You are going to watch it. Okay. Uh, not now. Okay. Now, listen to the description and number the picture. Okay. Animals in danger. What does it mean, animal in danger? That means these animals is going to extend. What does it mean, extent, teacher? That you cannot see these animals anymore. They are going to die. Why? Because of people activities, people pet activities. Look at this. What are the activities that people may make and make these animals extend? What do you think, my students? Yes? Hunting, well done. Also, pollution. For example, here, polar bears may extend because of the pollution. Because the art, uh, here, this, uh, the pollution may affect the, may destroy or affect the place that the polar bears live in. Okay? So now listen to the description. I'm going to describe these animals and you are going to write the numbers. Okay? So listen to the description and number the picture. Okay, my students? Are you ready? Good. Okay. This animal is black and orange. It is in danger because some people kill them for the, for its fur. Which one? Yes? Leopards. Well done. So this is number one. Leopards. Okay. Now listen to description number two. This animal is white. It is hunted by people for sport and for its fur. Which one? Polar bears, well done, excellent. So this is number two. Listen to description number three. Okay, it is the biggest animal in the world. And it is in danger because people kill them for food and oil. Which one? The biggest animal in the world. Blue whales. Well done, blue whales. Excellent. So this is number three. Okay, description number four. These animals are hunted to use their horns and tusks for all naming. All Or for jewelry. Okay, my students, which one? Excellent. Rhinos and elephants. Well done. So this is number four. Now let's read about these animals and write the name. Let's read the description and try to discover which animals is goes with this description. Okay, let's start with number one. These animals live in the rainforest in South America. They are very beautiful. They are in danger because some people kill them for their fur. It is used to make coat and rugs. They are also in danger because the rainforests are being destroyed. Which one, my students? What do you think? Yes, leopards. Well done. Okay, this animal live in Arctic. They are in danger because the Arctic is being destroyed by pollution. Also, they are sometimes hunted for sport and for their fur. Which one? It lives in Arctic. Which one? Yes? 
full appears. Well done. Okay, these animals live in the sea. Okay, they are the biggest animals in the world. They are in danger because they are killed for food and oil. So this is blue whales. Well done. These big animals live in Africa and Asia. They are in danger. Okay. They are in danger because people kill them to steal their horns and tusks. What does it mean, tusks, in Arabic? And yeah, well done. These are used for ornaments and medicine. What does it mean, this word, in Arabic? Yes? Mm -hmm. Those things that women wear it on their neck or in their hands. Yes, like jewelry. Really well done. And medicine. So which one? Yes? Which animal? Rhinos and elephants. Well done. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you, my students.